This is the first of what we hope will be many trip reports on sections of the Rock River Water Trail. Making and posting these videos on YouTube will provide valuable information for all Rock River paddlers. Our party consisted of six solo canoes, six members of Prairie State paddlers, and Lenny the dog. We paddled the 20.9 miles from H5 to H11. H5 is Hinchcliffe Forest Preserve and H11 is the east side of the Oregon Dam. After we passed the relatively new and very nice boat launch in Byron on River Wright, we went under the second railroad bridge which is a railroad which exclusively serves the nuclear plant in Byron and we came upon the first of the Rock River water trail signs that we would encounter. The camping spot was just a little ways further on river left. Because Dave had called the Forest Preserve District in Byron ahead of time, we, when we got to the campsite we found it was freshly mowed. The uh, site is excellent. The only problem is there's not much shade. But other than that, everything was in very good shape. Saturday evening, Austin Webb of the Forest Preserve District of Byron came out and visited with us. He told us that we were probably the first group to use the new campsite. We were back on the river by 10 o'clock the next morning. And as you can see from this video taken during a break, the waves from passing boats are getting to be a problem. And it is clear that beginning paddlers should not consider this reach of the river on weekends. We had several points at which rebounding waves would have been very dangerous for somebody who did not have good control of their boat. As the afternoon progressed, we passed the new boat launch for Oregon on River Wright with one of our Rock River signs in evidence and another just a little further along on, on the right-hand shore. Then we arrived at the Portage Takeout, which has been partially blocked by a large tree. This could be a problem for beginning paddlers so there are three things that we would recommend based on this trip. One is that parking is a problem for anybody who wants to shuttle a vehicle from Rockford or from Hinchcliffe. Leaving cars in either one of these places is not secure. Fortunately, we were able to bring our vehicle down to the campsite on Saturday because we had a friend in the area. The other concern is with the, the level of waves created by by motorboats in the area on weekends and finally the blocked porridge needs to be taken care of. <laughs>